it like to, to play the home state team, and what have you seen from them compared to last year? Um, compared to last year, I see they like more. If they know who they are more as a team. Uh, they know who their guys are, and uh, we're doing a great job scouting who their guys are, and it's going to be on the way of the game. You know, I always love playing against LSU. You say anything to the, some of the uh, Louisiana guys when you're out there? A little, a little uh, back forth? I probably can't say what I'd be saying on the court, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'd be some back and forth here and there. How, How many of those guys have you have you played with over the years? Uh, I played with uh, Carlos Stewart uh, with AAU. Uh, he played with our older team. I played with Corey Chess. Uh, never played with Joe, played against him, and I never played against Jalen, but I seen him play in person, so, yeah. How nice is it to open up SEC play at home? Amazing. Uh, like I always say, it's the best arena to play in, in college basketball, so I just love playing in front of Reed and giving the fans something amazing to watch. Well, what would be your evaluation of this Texas A&M team right now going into conference play. Where are you? Uh, right now, uh, you know, we're trying to, we're just trying to start this new beginning. It's a new season. Uh, right now we're zero and zero conference. So we're just trying to uh, stack as many good days as we can just to be ready for this game. I know uh, y'all y'all haven't been able to have uh, Julius around this season. Are y'all surprised in, or, or happy with the ability that y'all have been able to have kind of the next man up and be first in offensive rebounds and and kind of play the post y'all that that y'all have been able to do uh you know it's amazing uh you know guys found out he wouldn't be with us uh they just accepted the challenge uh worked harder every day and when their number was called they was just ready what would you say that the key to your guys' success on the on the boards and the, the rebounding has been so far uh i just say like a lot of predictable shots, us knowing when whoever has the ball is going to shoot it, and we have a great enough instincts to get the ball when they come off the rim if they do miss it. So, how tough is it to track a rebound, uh, especially an offensive one, when it's when it starts coming off the like the rim of the glass? Uh, it's not really hard, especially coming here. Like we teach rebounding, like it's a skill. So uh, you probably you get a good net for the ball and wherever it is. And you, you get a lot of reps in it at practice, so it becomes natural in game. What's Buzz emphasized in practice this last week? Uh, he emphasized a lot of uh, they're gonna they're gonna set a lot of ball screens, and a lot of their sets are gonna just turn into ISO. So he's been uh, kind of screaming that you have to guard the ball, and you if you don't know how to guard a ball screen, that just won't be the game for you to play. That's what he's been saying a lot in practice. So yeah. All right, well, let's get this up there. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks all. How are you feeling, bud?